This is the campus of Nerviano Medical Sciences, one of the largest cancer research sites in Europe. Since 2004, NMS has been a private company owned by the Congregation of the Sons of the Immaculate Conception. According to the American Cancer Society, 12 million people suffered from cancer in 2007 worldwide. These scientists faced one of the main challenges in medicine today, finding new drugs which are less toxic to patients than chemotherapy. Our strategic goal is to improve our competences, our technologies in discovering new cancer drugs and to deliver to the clinic at least two new candidates, two drug candidates every year. More than 500 researchers work here. One of the secrets to success of the NMS is teamwork. Interdisciplinary exchanges attracts the best brains in Europe and even in the U.S. in the fields of biology, medicine and chemistry. From the discovery phase onwards, these scientists try to transform the way in which cancer is treated. Many tumors have uh, proteins that are mutated or are defective and they help the tumor to escape uh, the normal mechanism that control the cell growth. So biotechnology can help us to develop new drugs that are targeted directly against these specific proteins and block these proteins. The scientists rely on the most advanced high-tech equipment to test the researcher's hypothesis. With these robots we can screen hundreds of thousands of compounds to find those compounds that are more able to fit with the protein in the tumor and block them. And uh, using this we can then study at the level of three-dimensional structure this type of interactions and we can constantly modify these uh, uh, molecules to make them fit better against the tumor target to be more effective. The Congregation of Sons of the Immaculate Conception acquired the property of this center from the pharmaceutical company Pfizer. The center was not purchased, but given for free to this religious order, whose charism is to discover new drugs and look after the sick. With the Nerviano Medical Sciences, we have achieved our dream of an integral presence in the field of healthcare, not only taking care of sick people with diagnosis and therapies and spiritual care, but also through producing the best drugs. This congregation considers a center of excellence as the property of the whole church. And there are expectations that are in the coming months. The center will be able to manufacture new drugs on industrial scale, thus enabling the center to finance itself. The dream of the owners is to make anti-cancer drugs affordable, even to poor countries.